from Farland. I wanted to get a little bit of texture. Now the tape is there just to remind me that that's the very highest I can go. I guess you can see that color. It's fine turf. I just want to lay in a little bit of that along the top, you know, a little seaweed stuff growing there. And then I'll uh, I'll paint, I'll do painting underneath it and I may paint some of it uh, as I go down. So just a little bit of the burnt grass. And with a weak, thin, PVA, watered down, PVA across there, and then what we're going to do is hold the card up here, hard to get it straight, Some of it went on on there, and that's about right. So you do that all the way along, and that's what I did. I did it all the way along. Got some acrylic painters. I like using these little cups I find in various kinds of food and things. Now that's going to be too wildly crazy light. But if I tone it down with a little bit of this uh, gray, That's quite so wildly green now. Still a little bright. I'm going to put a little black in it. Some of the blacks you get are so intense they just overpower any kind of color at all. It's all right if I go too low because I'm going to be painting over that with darker colors. Start with the light colors and then work work towards the there that's that's more like I was looking for. It's been drying for a little while. Okay, now I put a little black, a little more black and some more of the green. Okay, now I won't need to dry that this time. I'm going for the really dark at the bottom, at the very bottom. Some more black. This uh, fabulous black. Why is it fabulous? Because some blacks just absolutely overpower everything to where there's it takes away all the color. There's no color at all. We always want a little bit of color. Even blacks in nature have some, a little color in them. 
unless there's no light at all, and that's pretty hard to achieve outside, unless you're in a tunnel. Well, it's a little shiny now because it's still wet. We'll see how we did. Yeah, I like it. What do you think?